Everywhere you look today, students are rushing towards computer science engineering. Why? Because it's a golden ticket to a great career in tech. But here's the truth no one's talking about. More jobs doesn't automatically mean that you will get placed. Let's break it down. In 2021, over 12.5 lakh students enrolled in computer science engineering across India. Fast forward to 2025, 83% of them are still unemployed. So, if you're planning to take up CSE this year, will you get placed or will you become a part of the 83% in 2029? In this video, we are diving deep into two things. One, why are thousands of CSE graduates still struggling to find employment? And two, what you can do today while choosing a college so that you don't end up jobless like them. Let's rewind back to 2020. Global outbreak of novel coronavirus. 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 The pandemic had hit hard. The world was under lockdown and there were layoffs everywhere. Over 114 million people lost their jobs across industries. But something unexpected happened in tech. Amazon started hiring over 20,000 people for tech roles. Facebook hired more than 10,000 for its product and engineering teams. Google, Apple and even startups ramped up their tech recruitment. The result? Tech companies boomed, tech founders got richer and tech jobs looked the safest bet. Naturally, students in India also saw that and believed that if you want a secure, high-paying future, computer science engineering is the way to go. And when something feels promising and safe, what happens? More and more students rush towards it. Let's see how this trend has boomed in the last few years. According to the All India Survey on Higher Education report, back in 2017, around 8.3 lakh students took admission in computer science engineering across India. Two years later, in 2019, that number grew to 9.3 lakh. A moderate growth, right? And then came the post-pandemic hype in 2021. Admissions skyrocketed to over 12.5 lakh students. It's not a usual jump, it's a massive spike. Why this sudden rush? Because students had a clear dream. Get a high-paying tech job, work for top companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, enjoy perks like remote work, cool office culture and a global exposure, and most importantly, have a stable, respected future. That's the dream that most students saw during and after COVID. And that made them rush towards computer science engineering in lakhs. But now comes the real question. Where did they get placed? Or did they even? The latest reports show that a shocking 83% of engineering graduates today are unemployed. Yes, that is more than 8 out of 10 students who graduate with a degree but without any job. And in 2025, with AI also in tow, obviously tech is booming and computer science engineering graduates are only set to increase in number. But here's the real question. Fast forward four years, even though tech jobs are rising, even though tech is booming, will you be one of those who get placed or will you be part of the 83% who is unemployed? Now, that's the question you must be asking even before you step into college. So what's the way out? Some of you must be thinking that this number looks in because of tier 2 and tier 3 colleges and it might not be the case if you look at premium institutes. Okay, now let us look at IITs, the most top-notch premium engineering institutes in India. Every year, lakhs of students battle for a seat in a CSE program at the IITs. In 2021, nearly 9 lakh students appeared for the JEE mains, all hoping to grab one of the just 3,000 computer science engineering seats. But here's something no one tells you. Even the IITs aren't a safe place when it comes to placements. Yes, the placement crisis extends to the IITs as well. Some students, despite their top ranks and the best degrees, walk away after college without a job in hand. Even if the best colleges cannot assure you a job, then really what makes the difference? Let's shift gears and look at the students who actually got placed. Yes, the 17% who beat the odds. What are they doing differently and what did they really do that made them secure these high paying jobs while others were getting left behind? It's simple. They developed the skills that the other 83% did not develop. These are exactly the skills that top companies are desperately looking for. And what are these skills? Let's go back to the COVID era. Back then, India had no system to identify or alert people living in risk zones. That's when the National Informatics Center stepped up. They developed an app that could trace COVID positive users using mobile data and it actually worked. According to the CEO of Niti Aayog, the app identified over 3000 hotspots days before before the outbreak actually happened. So what's the takeaway? Be it government institutions or startups or big tech companies, all of them do one thing, 
solve real world problems and to do that they don't need just coders they need problem solvers and this one skill problem solving isn't something you get from just attending lectures it's built by solving coding challenges every day working on real world projects and facing problems failing and learning how to fix them this is what the 17% learned but where did they learn that certainly not in a typical classroom or college lab we looked at the subject list from major engineering colleges and most of it theoretical lectures even the timetables of top colleges don't include space for building essential tech skills so how did the 17% learn see it's not the 90s anymore and knowledge is in locked up in textbooks anymore today students can learn from free online courses from places like harvard mit and even more they can access resources from tech giants like google microsoft amazon and lot more they can practice on platforms like lead code hacker rank and code chef here they are solving real coding problems starting simple but getting tougher and tougher as they go up the levels and that's how they build the muscle for problem solving now isn't that strange students go through intense competition to just get into engineering some families spend lakhs of rupees just to secure a seat and then they spend 8 to 9 hours every day in classrooms but what are they learning during those hours mostly theoretical subjects long lectures old syllabus concepts that have little or no connection to what the companies are actually hiring for they are in learning how to build apps they are in solving real world problems they are in preparing for the technical interviews so here's the reality even after spending 4 years in classrooms and libraries and passing exams they are not ready for placements and experts from top companies have noticed that students spend 8 to 9 hours on irrelevant theory 8 to 9 hours sleeping and 2 to 3 hours just getting ready traveling or eating that leaves them with barely 3 to 4 hours a day to learn the skills that actually matter yet students manage to use that tiny window to grow they upskill themselves on their own they build that problem solving power outside the classroom and that made tech leaders think what if we flip the system what if students could learn these essential job ready skills inside the college not as an extra burden but as a part of their daily learning with real world projects with expert mentoring and all these things built into their timetable because when all these happens we won't just be creating graduates we'll be creating future ready problem solvers and this change it won't just solve india's unemployment crisis it builds a generation that's ready to solve the world's biggest challenges